Okay, so we are starting the chapter today adding images and inserting links in HTML. So first we will start with adding images only. Basically before inserting images on the web page, you have to understand that there are three different formats of images. First is JPEG that is Joint Photographic Expert Group. Next is PNG that is Portable Network Graphics. And third one is GIF that is graphical interchange format graphics interchange format now let us understand what are the three these three types JPG is the best format of photography so if I'll click if you will click any type of photograph then it will be clicked basically in JPEG format only this is the best which contains millions of colors in it so uh, normal images are all jpeg type only next is png png images are those images which have transparent background as you can see here in this image we don't have any background only the image is coming but rest of the area is not white even it is blank or transparent you can say so these types of images are called png images Third is the images which have animation in it. These types of images are called GIF images, graphics interchange format. In these types of images, we can have either background like in this one, we have the background or we it is not compulsory that we always have a background. We can have this type of image also in which we have no background. In this type of image, we have no background. So GIF can support background as well as uh, no background also. Okay, now let us understand what are what is a tag which is used to create the image and what are the different different attributes of that tag. IMG is a tag which is used to create insert images on the web page. You have to write only IMG you don't have to use the complete word image IMG tag you have to use these are the different attributes of IMG tag attributes means the property or the features which you can add in the tag that is source SRC here you will write the name of the file which you are going to insert on your page alt is an attribute sometimes what happen that uh, uh, if you have inserted an image on a page sometimes it takes a lot of time to load that image uh, or uh, the image type you have inserted it is not supported by the browser there can be so many reasons for due to which image does not appears on the page and if the image is not able to appear on the page in that case whatever the alternate text you will write that will appear means whatever you will write inside the alt attribute it will appear it means if the image is coming then alt will not work if the image is not coming then only alt attribute will work next is we can set the height of the image we can set the width of the image we can set we can give borders to the image and uh, we can give different types of alignments to the image also okay now let us create a web page with images on it we'll start with HTML head title images close title tag close head tag then body bg color i'm taking aqua then i don't want to write anything on my page i'm just going to insert few images you can do both or you can write also as well as you can insert the images also so I'm just going to insert the images. So I will start with the IMG tag directly. IMG SRC is the most important attribute because here we are going to write the name of the image which we are going to insert. Like, uh, and one thing you have to make sure that if you are going to save your page in a particular folder that then that image should also be there in that 
uh, folder only if it will not be there in that folder it will not appear on your web page so uh, i am inserting a gif image name car the type is gif so here we have to write car dot gif next is height height i want suppose 300 width i want suppose 300 then uh, border border equals to will be in pixels that is the thickness of the border then next is hold attribute which is not compulsory here i will write about my image that it's an image of a car so alt equals to car and then align let us uh, don't write align for the first time close the body tag close html and let us save and check first i'm going to save it with img dot html this is img dot html so i'm going to open it with google chrome i have done some mistake in the coding that is why the coding is coming at the top in the title bar but the page is not coming it means title spelling is incorrect t i t l e save and check now press f5 okay now the image is coming and the image which i have inserted it was a gif image sorry it was a uh -huh, yes, it's, it was a GIF image. It means there is some animation in the image. Okay, now I want to insert this image in the center of the page. So I will start the center tag and then close the center tag after this. Now I'm going to insert the same image. So I'm going to select the coding, paste it and this time I'm going to use the align attribute. By default the image is on, image will get displayed on the left hand side. So here I want to display the image on the left hand side so I don't need to write anything. But again I'm going to insert this. And this time I want a line equals to right save and check press F5 okay now three images are coming on the page one the first image was on was in the center of the screen second is on the left hand side because we have not specified that where we have to place this image so by default it is coming on the left hand side and third image we have mentioned that we want to place it on the right hand side so third image is coming on the right hand side now suppose i want to insert one more image and this image should be again in the center of the page copy the coding and paste it once again and uh, let us check like this first f5 I, okay this time we have to scroll it down and the image is coming like this let us reduce the size of the image so that all the images can appear on the same page so i'm going to change it to 100 
let us uh, make the width 200 now save it control plus s open and check it press f5 now all the com images are coming on the same page so no scroll bar is required this time by default scroll bar will automatically appear if your content goes out of the page so you need not to worry about that so this is how we can insert images now let us create a new pattern of images now suppose first image I want on the left hand side only so I'm just going to remove the center tag from here then uh, second image I want to display on the right hand side so here I'm going to insert right a line equals to right then third image I want to display again on the left hand side and then fourth image again I want to display on right hand side so again we have to here right here save it and let us check it first how it is coming it is coming like this but what I want that uh, the second image should come little down so for that what we need to do before inserting the second images this these two images we have to apply some break tags so that the image can come down I have used it four to five times let us check first press F5 open the page and then press F5 now it is coming like this okay now the images are uh, images came down but now I want to shift the images towards the center so for that I have to use ampersand NBSP SP which is used to give the spaces so I'm going to copy it because it's for it works for a single space and NBSP copy and paste it so I have pasted it many times save it and let us check it first press F5 okay now this image which is on the left hand side is has moved little towards the center so if I want to move more then I have to paste it more number of times save and check like this similarly if I want to move my uh, image which is on the right hand side then instead of writing a line equals to right I just have to give the spaces so I'm going to copy this coding of spaces copy it and paste it afterwards and because I think it is not sufficient so I'm going to paste it one more time now save and check it means it requires more spaces because I want to shift it towards the right so I'm going to paste it again once again and once again save and check now more spaces are required so paste it again save now check okay now I think it is 
a little more space is required to make it a perfect page so I am pasting it two more times save and check remove it now it is a perfect one both the images are coming from left to right both are coming at the same places now suppose the third last image I want to place in the center and before doing that I have to copy the tag I have to start the center tag first then copy the tag of image copy it and paste it now close the center tag save it and check it now this is a perfect pattern of images so this is how you can create a picture gallery of your choice wherever you want to place your images like this you can create a picture gallery okay now let me show you if an image is not coming on the screen then what will come now let us change the name of the last image and make it C there is no C.GIF in my folder this is my folder and there is no C.GIF in this folder so it means the image should not appear on the page web page now press F5 now if the image is not there then what is coming in the place of that image car because car we have written as an alternate text means if the image is not coming on the screen then it should display the text that is car as you can see in the coding in alt attribute we have written the word car so whatever you will write on inside the alt attribute as a value of it it will get displayed only if the image will not appear on the screen and this there can be so many different reasons for why your image is not coming on the screen the first reason could be you have not saved it properly in the same folder where you are saving your HTML file second reason could be the browser is taking more time to load that image because the image is maybe the very heavy file so it is taking much very much time third reason could be if you are using it on the internet then third reason could be that the internet speed is slow so these can be the different reasons uh, either you have not given the correct name or you have not placed it in the same folder or the maybe the internet speed or maybe the browser which you are using is not supporting your image so these could be the four different reasons why your image is not getting displayed on the page so today we will do only this much in the next class we will learn how to create links.